G'day guys, how you going? Hope you're all having a fantastic afternoon or whatever time it is in your part of the world. Hope you're doing really well. Today I'm going to be doing a movie review. I was originally going to do a DVD update, but I've got a few more DVDs coming hopefully in the next few days. So I will wait until I get all of them before I do a big DVD update. So until then, while I've got the time, I have decided that I'm going to do a movie review. Now this movie is a French movie, so spoken in the French language, you know the drill. If you're familiar with my channel, you know that I love my foreign cinema, especially French. It is a French thriller. It's a police thriller. So it's a step away from the usual French horror. But uh, thriller and horror it really has the same sort of effect for me anyway. It just you don't have any monsters and thrillers, but it still has the same sort of suspenseful levels. So I usually put my thrillers amongst the horrors. But anyway, enough of that. I'll get to the review. The movie I'm talking about was made in 2004, directed by Olivier Marchal. This movie is called Department 36. Now, I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce this title in French. My French is horrendous. So I'm just going to give you the English title, which is Department 36. It is a police thriller, and apparently the director was a policeman himself, so that gives sort of some more added realism, knowing that the director knows what it's like to be in the police force. So the story is in Paris. It centers around the story in Paris. And there's this violent gang that are going around. They're robbing people. They're harassing them. They're even killing people. And they're just pretty much running the city by themselves. They're doing whatever they like. They have no regard for the law. They have no respect for the law enforcement. And they go around terrorizing people and pretty much doing what they want. You know, when they want. So the police force don't know how to combat this, but then the uh, the head of the search and action squad, Leo Frinks, and the head of the anti-crime unit, uh, Dennis Klein, they're these two gentlemen on the front here, they're both the leader of their assigned unit. But then the chief of police, who's retiring very soon, gives these two an added incentive to catch these guys, because if the first person or the first unit who catches these this violent gang will get the chief's job once the chief retires. So that gives a lot of incentive for them in the hope that the chief hopes that this incentive will uh, bring about the capture of this violent gang. So these two gentlemen on the front here, they were once friends but now bitter enemies for reasons that I won't go into. You have to watch that to find out for yourself. There's also some side sort of stories to it and some little twists. But I'm not going to give anything away. You're going to have to watch it to find out for yourself. But then they go about their business in order to try and track this gang down and bring them to justice. And their methods are kind of bordering on the illegal. So they're not exactly law-abiding. And the line between good and uh, bad, uh, um, right and wrong, is very blurred. Because some of the methods they use are necessary to get the results, but they're not exactly following the law. So it kind of borders on corruption. And the two guys, uh, they pretty much battle it out and um, try their dirty tactics to get, you know, to get this gang because they both want the job, obviously. Now, it's as far as I go with the story, there is a lot of side story and a few twists, as I said, but I'm not going to give anything away. No, no spoilers in my reviews. So it's definitely a film with a lot of depth, so you're going to have to watch this to see for yourself. Um, just exactly what unfolds. Now, uh, you all know that my views on this film, that's the basic plot, that's all I'm going to give away. Now my uh, my reaction to the film and my opinion. You all know that I love my French horror, but now I am starting to get an equally strong passion for French thriller. Now this is the reason. Now this film centers around the two characters. Now the violent gang are pretty much just a backstory. That's just the reason for these two to come out and um, it, it's basically centered around these two. And this, the violent gang, they are in it, but they're not the, the uh, main point of the film. So these two are, are fighting each other and I thought this was a very, very thrilling film. It's 110 minutes, so it's only 10 minutes shy of two hours, but you don't really feel the length of the film because the pacing is very good. Now, if you're up for a, a movie with explosions and gunfights every two seconds, then you're probably not going to like this one. It does have a slow build-up, but it never gets stuck. Now, I thought it had a, a... I was kind of getting worried towards the middle that it was getting stuck, but then it just cranked it up again. So the pacing was really good in this film. So even if you've got a low attention span, 
I still think you might get through this because there is enough action, but if you're a really impatient person and you want your Rambo-style shootouts and blood and guts, then you're probably not going to get anything out of this. Now, there is no gore. Uh, there are some pretty shocking scenes, though, but it doesn't rely on gore. It is it relies solely on the fact that it's got a very strong, strong storyline. Sorry, i got my words mi mixed up. But it's got a very strong storyline, and the characters are very well developed. So what makes it so unique is the fact that both of these guys, they're as bad as each other. And so there's no real good guy and bad guy. So they're pretty much just, they're not really, I wouldn't say they're really bad guys, but they kind of twist the law to get what they want. And they're both as, you know, they both do it as much as each other. So you kind of have a sympathy for both characters, and you really don't want to see anything bad happen to both of them. But and you kind of want them to see both of them get the job, but you know it just it comes to the point where only one of them is going to be happy, and you don't really feel happy with the outcome. Although you, it's a very rewarding outcome, but um, as far as feeling good about the right person winning or uh, the right person getting what he deserves and the bad guy getting what he deserves, there's none of that because no character is painted in black and white as good and bad. So. That was a very unique sort of experience, and the the development of each character really did set it up because you could feel sorry for these people. You know, they do some bad things to get ahead, but they also are, are deep down good people, and it's just a victim of circumstances throughout this film. And you know, you, you'll know what I'm talking about when you go and watch it. So I thought the acting was absolutely great. The guys, sorry, I've got a really itchy nose. The guys who played the lead characters were awesome. Uh, the acting was great. The script was very, very good. I actually found this quite touching in some parts. So there is a lot of depth and a lot of emotion in this film, and it's not just a, a, a brainless sort of um, thrill thrill ride. So, um, yeah, definitely if you're a, a fan of thrillers, police thrillers, then definitely a highly recommended film. And even if you are a fan of French horror, then... You know, I would highly recommend you get into the thriller side of it because I think the thrillers are just as good as the horrors at the moment. France are really leading the way in the suspense sort of movies. And, you know, if they continue making films like this, then their thrillers are going to get more of a name than their horror films are. So I highly recommend this film. If you're a French horror fan, I strongly recommend you check out the thrillers because they're just as good. And for a film that, uh, if you want a film that has a lot of depth, has good character development, and some very good twists at a very good pace, then I highly recommend you go out and see Department 36. Uh, not everybody will like it. As I said, there's not much, you know, there's not much blood and guts, but uh, that is replaced by a very solid script, very solid story, solid acting, solid camera work, and just a solid film all around. So yeah, that's Department 36. That's a French police thriller, and I highly recommend you go out there and see it. Alright guys, that's my review. I'll have a DVD update coming very, very soon, so look out for that one. And until then, see you later. Bye.